about why has Jay Z been coming up with you lately? Because he's a monster. He's a monster. And I've known he's a monster for years. Mm -hmm. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a character. Uh, uh, no, girl. <laughs> Jumped off the thing, off the ledge. I was like, oh, shit. I didn't really know what to do. And be look, it was one of those situations where he was like, whoa. Now look, if you say this to Jay, if you say this to Jay, it's like, he'll look at you and go, nah, that, that happened. I think everybody that knows Sean Carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dane. Now hold up. Those are some wild accusations by Jaguar Wright and 50 Cent right there. So apparently, there's more to the love story of Jay-Z and Beyonce than all of us initially thought. And guess what? It's not just a straightforward love story between two artists after all. Apparently, the two met under some other quote-unquote circumstances, like so to say, which allegedly helped Beyonce boost her career off the ground. Now that's some crazy stuff, but is there any truth to it? We all remember the rumors that were going around Diddy and Jay-Z at the time, right? The ones where behind closed doors, they host these insane exclusive parties to find new talent and allegedly exchange certain favors for other favors. We certainly can't forget the fact that Beyonce was only 17 when she first met Jay, him being 31 at the time. Now that's an impressive age gap if you ask me, but hold on. For now, this is all still speculation. I suggest we dive a bit deeper into all of this and figure out the truth together. We all know Jay-Z and Beyonce have been together for years, right? But their early relationship was filled with controversies. Before they made it official, there were rumors suggesting Jay might have pursued Bay even before she was of legal age. And here's the kicker. Jay was reportedly infatuated with Alaya, Bay's competitor at the time. Some speculate. Jay saw Bay as an opportunity to advance his career, and Queen Bee herself mentioned meeting Jay when she was quite young. I was 18 when we first met, 19 when we first started dating. I really don't believe that you will love the same thing when you're 20 as you do at 30. So that was my rule. Before the age of 25, I would never get married. Now let's break it down. You might have heard that Beyonce mentioned meeting Jay when she was 18, but here's the thing. She said this after they tied the knot in 2008. It's worth taking that claim with a grain of salt. I mean, think about it. If two big time celebs were in love, wouldn't they want the whole world to know? It could bring in some serious cash, right? But here's the kicker. During their dating days, there's barely any evidence of their romance out there. Jay-Z also dropped some hints about their early days on their 2018 joint project, Everything Is Love, especially on the track titled 713. We played it cool at the pool of the Cancun, VMA. Confidence you exude make the fools stay away. Me. I played my room, let the fools have. They say fate had me sitting next to you on the plane, and I knew straight away. So peep this, Beyonce claimed she was leaning heavily on Jay-Z for wisdom and career moves when they first hooked up. Now let's not forget, Bay was no rookie in the music game, kicking off her career at just 9 years old. But once they made it official, the gossip mill started churning. Rumors about Jay's wandering eye started swirling in 2013 after that infamous elevator incident with Beyonce's sis, Solange. You know the one where Solange went all MMA on Jay? Security cam footage leaked and the internet went wild. The fam kept tight-lipped until the next year when Bay dropped that flawless remix, throwing a little shade. When things cooled down, Jay finally came clean about his infidelity. In 2017, he dropped 444, spilling the beans about their near 15-year ride. He owned up to the cheating bay laid out on Lemonade, and even mentioned their new twins. Jay-Z's lyrics were, I often apologize for womanizing. It took for my child to be born. I saw through a woman's eyes. It took for these natural twins to believe in miracles. It took me too long for this song. I don't deserve you. So, here's the deal. The rapper who got inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame also talked about losing kids, more than one, mind you. Now, at first glance, it might seem like Jay-Z locked Beyonce into marriage, but dig deeper, and you'll see Bay was down for it too. Now, when we talk about Jay-Z's alleged cheating on Queen B, it ain't just one time, nah. Sources hint Jay stepped out multiple times. The whole drama unfolded when Becky with the good hair surfaced. Internet sleuths went digging and found out Jay was messing around with Damon Dash's ex-wife, 
To give you some context, Roy used to be in the mix at Rokaware, the fashion label started by Jay-Z and producer Damon Dash, who also co-founded Rockefeller Records. Roy climbed up to become creative director of the women's and children's lines. But then in 2005, Jay-Z bought out Dash, Roy, and Dash got married, and Roy started her own fashion label. Sadly, Dash and Roy split just a year after Beyonce and Jay-Z got hitched. Now here's where things take an interesting turn. One of the industry's whistleblowers, Jaguar Wrights, dropped some truth bombs. Jag claimed that both Jay and Bay had this kind of transactional relationship going on. She said Jay was supposedly still hung up on Alia, while Alia and Dame were into each other. At the same time, Beyonce was struggling with her solo career. And you know the rumors about Alia's mysterious death and all that jazz. By the way, wasn't this all around the time when Alia died? Yeah. And Beyonce's solo career was struggling. She proved her point by saying, She liked posing with him in pictures for, for page six. Aaliyah didn't. She fell in love with Dane. And Aaliyah's gone, and you know. You have to start asking yourself questions after being in this business for this long. Even though Aaliyah wasn't around to confirm if Jay Z approached her or not, there was this model who spilled the beans. Olivia McFowler, AKA Liv, used to be a model and rapper. She dropped a song aimed straight at Beyonce and Jay-Z. The track, called Sorry Mrs. Carter, sampled a well-known 2001 Outkast song, Ms. Jackson. In the song, Liv said, your man, he likes model chicks. He likes all naturally flawless chicks like me. What up, Jay? While she claimed that she first turned down Jay-Z's advances, she did admit that she was attracted to him, us two attracted like some magnets, and us crossing paths was no accident. When I stepped out his life, I took a piece of his heart. Anyway, that wasn't the only time Olivia brought Jay into the conversation. In an interview, she let it all out, admitting that while she was attracted to Jay, she had mad respect for Beyonce. According to Olivia, their paths crossed on a set, shooting a commercial. She laid it all out, saying, I was sitting by myself, and he sat next to me. I was handling it well, and he was shocked to see I was getting up to leave. He sent his guards to me. Excuse me, miss, do me a favor. Put your number on this piece of paper. When Jay gets settled and he'll call you later. I know most chicks would have took the bait, but then those chicks be the ones I hate. Let's not overlook the fact that even though Olivia allegedly apologized profusely for the disrespect, word on the street is Beyonce made moves when nobody was watching, not physically, but in terms of opportunities. Sources close to Beyonce suggest she actively hindered Olivia's career because she caught her husband's eye. But here's the twist. Jay-Z got what he wanted with Olivia a few years later during the elevator drama. In case you didn't know, Beyonce's sister Solange Knowles was throwing hands at Jay-Z in that elevator because she supposedly caught him getting cozy with Olivia. The Carters tried to downplay the incident by releasing a statement. They claimed that despite speculation about the cause, Solange and Jay-Z had worked through their issues. The statement read in part, they both acknowledge their role in this private matter that has played out in the public. They both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. The reports of Solange being intoxicated or displaying erratic behavior throughout that evening are simply false. At the end of the day, families have problems and we're no different. We love each other and above all, we are family. We put this behind us and hope everyone else will do the same. Let's not forget the rumors swirling around that Jay-Z had an affair with Rita Ora, who got signed to his label, Rock Nation, in 2008. At the time, Rita shut down the speculation and she's continued to deny the rumors over the years. But despite her efforts to squash the rumors, fans believe Bay herself hinted that something went down between the two. Amid all the talk about Jay-Z's infidelity, Beyonce shocked everyone by chopping off her iconic long locks and rocking a pixie cut. And looking back on it now, Beyonce admitted she made the cut because she wanted to feel liberated during that time. She said, I remember the day I decided to just cut all my hair off. I didn't have a particular style in mind. It wasn't an aesthetic choice, but it was a very big emotional transformation and metamorphosis that I was going through. And after that, I became super brave. It was the first step to many more audacious decisions I made in my life and my career that have led to who I am now. Anyway, although things did get rocky for the power couple, they decided to mend their differences. However, 50 alleged that Bay and Jay had a fake relationship in which Jay gets the trophies and Bay gets the stage. During an interview with Breakfast Club, 
50 said. They're afraid their kids gonna wanna be 50 said if they acknowledge the material. Mm. So they don't mm. give you the trophies. I got the checks, I didn't get the trophies. Mm. Like, Jay got all the fucking trophies, man. That's because he signed that contract. What contract? The one with Beyonce. <laughs> no, if you don't sign, you don't give him a trophy, she ain't coming. We all know 50 bet he's got a knack for throwing down with his peers, but when he really wants to lay into someone, he's straight up blunt with no gray area. So when 50 swung by Andy Cohen's show, he didn't hold back, naming Jay-Z as the most overrated rapper of all time. Now, 50's been in it with Jay for a minute, but it seems like some of that beef rubbed off on Jay's wife too. You see, in an interview, 50 spilled the beans that the rapper's wife came at him ready to throw down after he popped by to have a chat with her husband in Las Vegas way back when. Fifth confessed he was caught off guard by Beyonce's strange move, jumping off the windowsill as he was on his way to chop it up with Jay-Z. I was like, oh, ish. I didn't really know what to do. It was one of those situations where you were like, whoa, if you say this to Jay, he'll look at you and go, nah, that happened. 50 even joked that he was lucky both sisters didn't gang up on him because he would have been in big trouble if that had happened. It's pretty common for Jay-Z to throw shade at 50 Cent, considering 50's street creed is well known, and their beefs have always been more verbal. But one time, Jay-Z decided to push his luck and tried to stir things up. After Kanye's infamous mic grab from Taylor Swift at an awards show, Jay thought it was the perfect time to throw 50 into the mix. Jay alleged that even if 50 Cent was on stage, Kanye would have pulled the same stunt. He basically said, Nobody's afraid of 50 Cent. Well, you know 50 Cent can't let things slide. So he took to Instagram to drop an old clip from the 2007 Screamfest show at Madison Square Garden. The event was co-headlined by T.I. and Chiara and featured some of music's heavy hitters, including Jay-Z and Kanye West. During the show, T.I. and Hov invited Kanye to join them on stage. Just as they got into Can't Tell Me Nothing, 50 Cent popped up, jogging a few laps around the stage. Hov, visibly annoyed, interrupted the performance briefly to tell 50 to bounce. But that's not all. 50 Cent went on to claim that although Jay-Z is well-connected, he doesn't have real talent of his own. 50 alleged that while Jay may have held more power in the beginning of their relationship, now the tables have turned in Beyonce's favor. In a chat with XXL, the G-Unit mogul went off on the importance of relationships in the music biz and suggested it was Hobbs' marriage to Bay that boosted his mainstream success. Even Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say, the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, 17 Grammy since he's been with Beyonce. And you go, prior to that, he had one. That came with the association. If you really break it down, the numbers are definitely on fifth side. He's always been vocal about Jay's kids not having any real talent but still bagging Grammys. He's been firm in his stance that these awards can be bought with influence, so he doesn't put much stock in them anymore. The kids even have Grammys, like, they don't they don't sing yet they don't sing right. <laughs> they don't rap yet <laughs> and they already have grammys and shit. so it's like they give this give them this trophy so so we secure that they're coming mm. to the award show it meant that much to the culture now the thing is even jay and 50 do not see eye to eye at all but jay once admitted that he had to warn all the artists in his record label to hurry up and produce the piece because he knew 50 had an incredible song coming Jay alluded that at the time their music sales were in great danger as 50 would start an entirely new musical era. Jaguar Wright is one of the few voices calling out Jay-Z for his shady dealings in the music industry. According to Wright, Jay-Z has been profiting off his artists for years, playing puppet master with their careers and personal lives. She alleges he's cheated on Beyonce with several women, including Rihanna, Foxy Brown, and Rosario Dawson. Furthermore, she claims he's blackballed artists who refused to work with him or spoke out against him, like Beanie Sigel, Freeway, and Emile. Last year wasn't a great ending for Diddy after all the legal drama and shocking allegations from victims came out. But during an appearance on Viral Hip Hop News, Jaguar dropped a bombshell, claiming Jay-Z was even worse than Diddy. She explained that Jay knew how to cover his tracks like a pro, keeping his true face hidden from the public eye. Sean Carter is worse. Uh oh. Oh man. He's smarter. He's patient. Jag claimed that Jay has surrounded himself with an army of people who would take the fall if Jay Z would ever get exposed, where Diddy was trying to get around and rule people through fear. Jay allegedly took a different approach 
and created an armor in advance to cushion his fall. This been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 fucking years. The Philly singer and songwriter made some shocking claims, alleging that Jay had another rapper, Big L, eliminated as some sort of Illuminati sacrifice. Jaguar claimed that Sean Carter was the one threatening Big L's life before he died. She insisted that Big L never lied to her and recounted their last conversation, where he allegedly expressed fears about Jay trying to take him out. Furthermore, Jag alleged that Jay instructed the shooter to target Beanie Siegel's lungs to hinder his ability to perform. He told me to watch out for you, and he told me that your greatest sin is coveting Sean Carter. You're a coveter. I have no doubt in my mind that it was you that sent the shooter to sh Beanie Siegel as soon as he got home. His mother was so terrified we had to show at the TLA. Apart from that, a former bodyguard has come forward with some disturbing allegations about Jay-Z's behavior towards his wife Beyonce. Allegedly, there was an incident in a club where a fight broke out while Jay-Z wasn't close to Beyonce. Beyonce's security guard lifted her up and pulled her away from the chaos, which reportedly angered Jay-Z. Witnesses claim he yelled at Beyonce in a back room and subsequently had her security guard fired out of jealousy. While nothing has been proven, this incident has fueled suspicions about the dynamics of the power couple's relationship. Adding to the speculation, another man claiming to be Beyonce's former bodyguard, known as Uncle Ron, made a series of controversial allegations on social media. In a since-deleted video, Uncle Ron accused Beyonce of substance use and other misconduct. He asserted that he knew the couple's deepest secrets and claimed their relationship was purely driven by financial interests with no genuine love between them. To remember your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to become billionaires. There's no love there. See, what's done in the dark will definitely come in the light. Keep your threats up, I'm here today. And what I got to say, I'm gonna say it. So don't make idle threats to me. Cause I ain't Biggie. I ain't Beanie Seagulls. I ain't Freeway. These allegations aren't exactly breaking news, as Jaguar has been making similar claims for years. She contends that Jay-Z is worse than Diddy because he's patient and methodical in his manipulation tactics. According to her former bodyguard, Jay-Z allegedly resorted to physical violence against Beyonce until her father intervened and threatened him to stop. Both sources claim that Jay-Z is the mastermind behind the scenes, tightly controlling Beyonce with substances, people, and more. It's interesting to note how Beyonce rarely collaborated with male artists allegedly because Jay-Z didn't approve. Likewise, her inability to speak candidly on camera is allegedly orchestrated by Jay-Z. Jaguar asserts that Beyonce needs saving too. Ron also alleged that Beyonce and Jay-Z worked behind the scenes to sabotage the career of fellow R&B artist Carrie Hilson. He further claimed that Grammy Award-winning singer's team is pressuring him to stop making outrageous claims against her and her family. While Jaguar is still around, the former bodyguard has disappeared from the scene. Carrie herself hinted at the power couple's involvement in her downfall during an interview on Out Loud with Claudia Jordan in August 2020. When you're early in your career, you feel that you have to listen. When you buck, they buck harder and they make threats. Those threats are huge ones. You don't feel like you have a choice. I really didn't feel like I had a choice. So what do you think? Is there any truth to Jay-Z's super sus behavior in the music industry? Or is this all just speculation and more speculation? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any new videos. And until then, fam, keep it real.